Let's be honest, between the haters who can't wait to see if Starfield will be an abysmal failure, and those of us who are enthusiastically hoping for the best, Starfield is the most anticipated game of 2023. Contrary to a high number of rumors, Starfield is still set to launch in the first half of this year, with many speculating a release date sometime in April. Personally, I'm counting on Todd Howard's passion for the game and Microsoft's probable desire to avoid embarrassment to form a perfect collaboration that will result in a game that will blow all of our minds. Lately, I've been going over some of the interviews of some of those involved in the development process and taking the time to actually absorb some of the information. Now I'm even excited to experience some of the music in Starfield and how it will make already epic experiences even more epic and memorable. According to Todd Howard, Starfield has two step out moments similar to the one famous step out moment in Fallout. According to the dev team, Starfield won't be a game with a bunch of predetermined decisions. As the player, you will be able to make decisions that will affect the world around you. This has caused me to wonder if Starfield, like Bethesda games in the past, will allow the player to save anytime, anywhere. Or if they'll go in a different direction this time, forcing the player to live with the consequences of their choices. While saving anytime, anywhere may be convenient, the latter may result in a more immersive experience. According to design director Emil Pagliarulo, Bethesda doesn't just make RPGs, they make RPG simulators where the player can experience totally unexpected situations. And Starfield won't be a world where your character has to strictly be good or bad because you can make high moral decisions throughout the game but still work with shady factions. When it comes to dialogue, the team describes Starfield as more intense and involved than past Bethesda games. You'll even be able to have your companion speak for you, though I'm guessing that probably will be in certain circumstances and limited to certain companions. Or the game may simply allow you to make a bad choice. For example, if you're communicating with a medic, the companion you choose to speak for you may have more success in the conversation if they have medic skills. If not, maybe the conversation won't go so well, but that's just a guess on my part. According to Todd Howard, the goal is to make the player feel a sense of accomplishment after finishing a quest which sounds like an indication of the grand scale of individual missions or side quests. I think the one thing people underestimate about video games is that people think it's just playtime. But I always say that the one thing video games can give you that nothing else in entertainment can is that feeling of pride, right? Look what I did. And even though we want to make a game that is very big and is very long, you can play for all of those years, it's all the paths you didn't take that make it special to you, that you feel like when you finish that quest, that you feel that you accomplished something that week. And people who love video games can always say like, you know, what'd you do today? The team is making it no secret that they're creating a game that they want people to play for years, which I must admit has me excited. Originally, the game was set to release on November 11th of last year, but was rescheduled to release in the first half of 2023. According to the devs, they felt the delay was necessary in order to provide the most polished experience. Though earlier reports by playtesters left questions in the minds of the gaming community, the most recent playtester comments have Xbox and PC fans feeling more confident that the game may turn out to be the grand experience that Todd Howard claims it will be. Starfield is said to be Bethesda's most ambitious project which says a lot considering the grand scale of past games. The subtle system, as it's known in the game, is an area that extends outward from our solar system by approximately 50 light years. When commenting on how much of the world players will be able to explore, Bethesda has stated that Starfield will have 100 systems and 1,000 planets. The player will also have a number of factions to interact with, all with various goals and motivations, and all doing whatever it takes to survive during fragile peace times after a bloody war between the United Colonies and the Free Star Collective, approximately 20 years before the start of the game. But peace doesn't always equal safety. I'm Emil Pagliarulo, Design Director of Bethesda Game Studios. We're very excited to offer you this exclusive look at Starfield and the exciting universe we've created which is an area of our solar system we call the Settled Systems. Our game is set in the year 2330, in a relatively small pocket of the Milky Way, in an area that extends outward from our solar system for approximately 50 light years. Around 20 years before the start of the game, the two largest factions in the Settled Systems, the United Colonies and Free Star Collective, engaged in the Bloody Colony War. Today, the major factions enjoy an uneasy peace but the settled systems is still pretty dangerous. 
There are plenty of human threats out there, like ecliptic mercenaries, pirates of the Crimson Fleet, violent spacers, or even the fanatical religious zealots of House Varu. So far, the game is still scheduled to launch in the first half of 2023. If anything changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know. I plan on spending a lot of time with this game and in the Starfield universe, so I just want Bethesda to do whatever it takes to make sure that the game is as epic as possible. I'm hoping that Starfield will be the type of game that will have players thinking about it even when they're not playing. That's when you know a game is truly great. Honestly, if a delay is what it would take to achieve that, then so be it. But all that said, contrary to what many YouTubers are saying, there really is no indication so far that the game will be delayed. But even if the game is delayed, yeah, there will be lots of trash talk and fake concern for the game. But if the game turns out to be half as great as Todd, the devs, and recent playtesters claims it to be, the trash talk from the haters will be short-lived. Either way, you can count on two things. When it does launch, I'll be right there, and gameplay footage will be right here on the Game Gallery. Stay safe.